Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Hey, man. Have you ever worked with a PDF and you wanted to do something with it, like maybe convert it to a Word document or a, uh, an Excel file or maybe even a PowerPoint or the other way around and convert it, you know, backwards or maybe even edit the PDF? Like, I don't know about you, but PDFs can be like Thank goodness for Wondershare. They have programs called High PDF and PDF Element. Two great programs. One is actually a pro version that you can have on your desktop that allows you to edit. You, you know what? I'm talking about all this stuff. Let's just go over to my PC and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, I'm glad you made it over here. So what you do is you open up your web browser, you type in highpdf.com and bam, it takes you right here to the web software. Now, if you don't have an account, that's okay. You can get a couple of things done, but to unlock this thing's full potential, you definitely need to sign up to get a pro account. So what this thing does is a ton of stuff. All right, so first off, we have a list of things here that uh, this software can do. We have compressed PDF, PDF to Word, uh, Word to PDF, PDF to Excel, Excel to PDF, and I'm not gonna list off all of these, but you can just pause the video right here and see all of the different functions you can do regarding PDFs and conversions backwards and forwards, and even merging and splitting PDFs. You can even edit them online as you go. So what we're gonna do here, you know, this compressed PDF, I have had some massive PDF files come through uh, via email and stuff like that, and sometimes they get broken up or truncated or something like that so this compressed PDF is going to be highly functional for those super large like you know 50 page PDF files that you're going to be uh, transmitting over the internet and PDF to Word is a very common one that you would probably do but before you actually get a PDF a lot of times you take a Word document and convert it to a PDF so let's just go ahead and do that right now so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and choose a file let's go to my desktop because I got some uh, some stuff set up there sample Word document that's what we'll do we'll open that one up and see how fast it actually uploaded it and converted it well it just uploaded it just that fast so then we convert it and it takes just a couple of seconds to convert it and we are now at 99 percent and bam it is done so we'll go ahead and download it and open it up so right here this is my actual word document that has been converted to a pdf so if you don't want nobody messing with your your formats and stuff like that you go ahead and convert your stuff to pdf now let me open up the actual word document that was uh converted to pdf so i'll do a split screen here for you so this is the word document that was uh, typed up in word this is actually a sample document but this over on the left that's the pdf that we just converted so i'll go ahead and close that out because we don't need it anymore and maximize my web browser and we don't need that file anymore and it's not saved on here so don't worry about security or nothing like that it's not saved you actually converted it and downloaded it and it's going off the web so now what we're going to do let's go back because i want to play around with this a little bit this is getting exciting pdf to excel oh that's that can be a tricky one so you know what we're going to do we're going to take that same pdf file that we just converted oh this is going to be fun okay let's go to my downloads where's my downloads folder all right, so this is that, that sample Word document that we converted to PDF. Let's go ahead and load that one up there, and we're gonna turn that into an Excel document. Let's see how this pans out. This is gonna be kinda cool. Okay, let's download that one and open it up. Okay, it did it. So that particular, <laughs> wow, okay, let me, let me maximize this. That particular document that was a Word document has been converted to a PDF and then from PDF to a, an Excel file. So yeah, we got that now. Okay, so this thing is, it's capable of everything. But you know what? PowerPoint presentations can get pretty tricky because a lot of times PowerPoint presentations can be heavy, heavy, heavy on your memory. So what we can do is we can convert that to a PDF file. So right here, we'll just click that. And I do have a practice file here on my desktop just waiting for y'all. So let's do this sample presentation right here, which is an actual presentation from uh, Microsoft Office that I just decided to load up for you guys and I'll show you the original file in just a second but it is now converting that and see how fast it happened now let's download it and we're gonna open up the new PDF so this is the PDF right here and what I'll do is I'll open up the sample presentation in PDF so we'll just click them left and right so right here on the right you'll have the uh, original 
uh, PowerPoint presentation file. And on the left, we have it in PDF form. That is genius because like I said, PowerPoint presentations can take up a ton of space that you might not have, or they can kind of bog down your computer. And PDF files are much easier to work with when it comes to uh, watching or, or going through a slideshow or something like that. So let's just go ahead and close that. And one last thing I wanted to show you was how you can edit a PDF. So let's pick one. We've we've kind of just uh, we've made a couple of PDFs here. So let's go into my downloads and see which one we're going to do. Let's go. Ooh, let's go into this uh, this PowerPoint presentation and see if we can play around with this. All right. So it opens it up. This is the PDF version of the PowerPoint we just did. I hope you're following along with me here. So this is the PowerPoint, but I want to add some text. So what I can do here is add in JDL rocks with a bunch of exclamation marks and I can change my text to large and I can actually change my font to Ubuntu. Okay. And let me move that over to the side so you can see it because JDL does rock. That's that's right. You better ask somebody. Okay. And now we can add an image. I don't know what image we're going to add, but uh, I don't even have one, but you can definitely add an image or you can add a shape if you want to. Let's add a circle somewhere. Let's just drag that over here and then we can make that circle into an oval or make it humongous if we want to. And then we can actually can we put my text inside of that circle? What the text is inside of the circle now, and then we can sign it. So I don't know whose signature this is, but there you go. <laughs> now we've signed my artwork and then we can save it and download it. So as you can see, this software is super capable. You can protect them, crop them, do all kinds of other stuff. This is definitely some software that you're going to need at some point in time in your life. You're going to be like, wow, I wish I could do that. Well, now you can. You got the all in one online PDF solution inside of High PDF and it's an online software. OK, there you have it. That's a quick overview of High PDF and a little bit of uh, PDF element. Look, you can keep struggling with PDFs and, you know, pulling all your hair out. Look, I've already done it to myself. You can keep doing that or you could just check out High PDF. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. I just decided to show you that there's tools out there that can make your life a whole lot easier. Well, I've got to get out of here and go make some more videos. But until I do, y'all make sure y'all keep playing nice together and I'll see y'all on the next upload. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks see that wasn't so bad all right man i appreciate you and i'll see you at the next one are you not entertained are you not entertained is this not why you are here